Hello everyone, Aaron with World of Cars here for another review, and today we are going to be looking at the Cars 3 singles, and here are the new generation ones. Now there are going to be some other singles like the stock cars, some random cars as well for the single line, and of course coming soon will be the 2 packs, and the deluxes. But yeah! So as you know, I already reviewed the first two big sets, because y'all probably want me to review those next. And if y'all guys are wondering, no, I do not have the Cars 3 Mac. I do have the Cars 1, though. I will get the Cars 3 very soon when I get my money, when I get some money soon. But anyways, let's go on with the first car. And I will be including Jack the Storm in this review, because he is also a single new generation. But he's going to be the only car I will review as a single, though, in this line since there is only three new generation racers and yes I am including Cruz Ramirez but we do need some more new generation racers to be honest and we haven't gotten any we have gotten images of what they look like but we have no images of when they're coming out or in their box form but yeah so let's go on and start off with the new generation nitroid racer now I have seen the other stock car generation or the new stock car racer for cars 3 and he has the size of this car right here, I believe. And to be honest, I feel like this was a good choice for the nitrate size. Because it does look pretty close to this. And the design in general looks pretty close to this, actually. But anyways, so that's going to see nitrate right there. Nitrate uh, logo looks really nice there. Nice orange color. And we're 28 still it is on. Some white. Nice little metallic-ish right there. But then it gets into a non-metallic version right there. There are the sponsors. I can get a focus a little bit. Mm. Come on, focus, camera. Piston cup, combustor, carbon, cyber, and Sydney G. I think that's how you say it. I don't know how to pronounce that. But anyways, I like this exhaust right here. And... I believe all the new generation racers kind of have that design of exhaust right there. Way more high tech than. Well, actually, this kind of looks a little bit like it, but uh, should probably get a better example car. They all kind of have some like that, but I mean, here's the Cars 1 version, I guess. It's just kind of plastic part right there, but this is actually printed on. Unlike, you know, McQueen, for instance. See? But, anyways. So, as we see, he has a nice model design. I like more sleek looking. Nice spoiler in the back, too. And I believe a lot of the Piston Cup cars will have to, or uh, the new generation cars will have some of this design right here. Or model. They will have this model, but a different spoiler, which I do like how they're switching out the spoiler. It makes them all look different, for sure. 28 as well, and I love the wheels too. It's just Lightyear right there. Kind of hard to tell, but it does say Lightyear. It is kind of mixed together though. The printing did not come out well on the Lightyear at all in this car. Because this, see, you, you could tell that says Lightyear, but this, they're like really thin. And they're more kind of wide out. But yeah, definitely a drastic change. And as the camera focuses, there we go. Anyways, on to the new Octane Gain Racer. Uh, by the way, his name is Tim Treadless. So this right here is Daniel Suarez. As you can see, uh, now I have not seen another car with this model. But I have seen a car similar to this model, but it has a different expression. So I don't know if they did not paint the teeth, because the teeth are, I think, painted. But I have seen cars with this model. As you can see, it is supposed to be purple, though, like a purple shine to it. This here is Bobby Swift, the new top octane gain racer, but he's the newer octane gain racer. I believe Billy Oil Changer was the old octane gain racer. Uh, I might be wrong about that, but number 19, octane gain. As you can see, these are not rookie stripes on him. But these are, as you can see, the paint's kind of like similar, but instead of orange, it's now gold. It kind of goes in and turns it yellow. So the rookie stripes are kind of 
make it look like it's supposed to be part of like that, which I do kind of like. Now, you could definitely tell a little bit that this says light year, but kind of stretched out. It is so hard to tell on these, but it does have a yellow outline on the wheels, as you can see. And all of the new generation racers do have the same sponsors, you know, combustors, energy, all that kind of stuff, carbon, cyber. And it does say Octane Gain right there. Not as easy to tell what it says as, for instance, Bobby Swift. It's like right there on the hood. There, you kind of barely see it. But it does say OG right there, which stands for Octane Gain. By the way, Octane Gain is a Turbo Vitamins, which are like, I think, like a pill. It does have a blue arrow on the bottom, which, by the way, I almost forgot to mention, Tim Trellis also has it. But they are kind of hard to see, which I think is kind of nice. Because, I mean, I kind of like it, but I kind of don't. I also love this gold design, similar to the Rusty's Racing Santa McQueen. Octane Gain on the back. Windows. Spoiler. Octane Gain on the spoiler as well. Number 19. Gas cap right there. Looks really nice. It says G right there, and the other side also says G. Uh, there's no O right there, but, oh well. But I do love this car. Even though it's not the right color, from some angles you can kind of see purple on it. Like this angle right here, you can see purple. From this angle, it looks a little purple. But I do like the blue. I must say, I do like the blue. It does look nice, and Mattel did an amazing job on this. Here's an, another next generation racer, Cruz Ramirez. So, as we all know, Cruz Ramirez, other version right here, by the way, will be McQueen's new trainer in Car 3, but will also be the new Dynaco racer. As you can see, there was some change. The color is different as well. They probably want her to stay yellow just to kind of let us know that is Cruz. But as you can see, it says Dynaco right here on the side, which looks really nice. Dynaco right here. See, all the new generation racers, it just says it, okay? Danico, Nitroade, Octane Gain, uh, Igniter. It just says it. No special looks. But, I mean, Nitroade has a little special look, but it's just kind of there. Just the word. But here it has the actual logo. For instance, like, Danico, it just says Danico, but here it shows the actual logo of Danico Company. Which is something I think my give them a different feel, I guess you could say. But anyways, um, I guess here's the back of her. As you can see, we can kind of see some rookie stripes right there. And they are kind of hard to see because it kind of matches her color. But she does have rookie stripes because she is a new racer. There's the Danico logo on the back, though, which I do like how they are giving us a Danico logo. Um, now, I don't think we have the Octane Gain logo on Daniel Suarez. We do see OG, which, I mean, I don't really think, I don't think that counts as an, I guess this could count as an Octane Gain logo, but I don't think so. Nitroade, I mean, unless they change their logos in, in the movie Cars 3 as well, but, I don't know. But anyways, as you can see, we could definitely tell this time it says Lightyear. Nice, shiny blue rims. And we can also see sponsors, but they are hard to tell. But it is the same sponsors as I said for Daniel Suarez and Tim Trellis. Number 51, which was the Fabulous Hudson Hornets number, which I think is, is kind of pretty cool how she's living on the number legacy. And by the way, if Disney realized that it was Doc Hudson's number, that would be a really pretty weird coincidence. But anyways, love the engine, you know, and I like the Danico Right there, the dinosaur part coming in right there looks really nice. 51 right here. Danico on the spoiler. And right here, too. 51. And, he and she does have roof flaps this time. Unlike the other normal version of Cruz. I like the expression on this Danico Cruz. Although I kind of like this expression on this one a little, bit, a little bit more. But anyways, there's the lights, too. Of course... The normal cruise does not have an engine as well. And also, she has like this line right here. This one does not. It's just completely flat, but this has like a line. Which all of the... Actually... 
Daniel Suarez and Tim Treadless don't have that. No, Jackson Storm does, but Tim Treadless and Daniel Suarez do not have these little weird lines poking out. The Queen does, of course, as you can see. These little things poking out, which racers have. But for some reason, these two next-gen don't. Also, we can kind of see, she has no license plate. And, like, you know, the headlights are also a little bit different. But also, this curve right here is just a line going up and down. But this, it goes straight up, across, straight down, up, you know. It's really, it's weird how they kind of change like that. To where, you see, you don't really see too many changes. The only changes you see are, she no longer has mirrors. No, uh, and sh the spoilers, that that's the only difference you see from this angle. But when you take a really close look, of course, expression, there are new molds. But if you take a really close look, you can tell there are a lot of changes, actually, in the model itself. Also, the base is different, but I mean... It is a race car, so. But yeah, I do love the racing crews. Another amazing job, Mattel, I must say. Now here is Jackson Storm, which I have reviewed already, but hey, he deserves a second review. So as we can see, it does say Igniter. Right there, hard to tell, but it does say Igniter. Number 20, Jackson Storm, also number 20, same sponsors. And it has a nice S right there. This angle looks really nice, I must say, from my camera, since it doesn't like me that much with focusing. But as you can see, it says Igniter right there. Yellow line, of course, right there. Yellow arrow. Gas cap. Igniter. All the kind of stuff. Number 20. And there's also Igniter right there. And I love the blue lines. Looks really high-tech. I should do reviews in this room more often because it is the, the lighting is really treating me well. And it has grayish eyes, gray blue eyes, which looks kind of weird to be honest. But, anyways, it does look really nice, I must say. Jackson Storm is the best looking villain, I must say. How come all the villains look cool? I mean, Darth Vader, for instance, he's a villain and he looks awesome. But, yeah. And, of course, the rookie stripes as well. Now, here's the box for the singles as well. Of course, this is lightning, but it says Car Story Lightning McQueen, but it would say Tim Trellis if he was in here. And the box, exactly the same as all of them, which I do like. It makes it look less kid-looking, you know, which is what Car Story is actually about, at, you know. Let me just raise the camera up. So, as we can... Let me just raise it. As we can see... Says blindsided by a, a new generation of piston cup racers, Lightning McQueen finds himself suddenly pushed out of the sport he loves. To get back on top, he will need the help from a young race technician, inspiration from the late child sets of Hornets, and guys from a few old friends. As we see it, we can also see Natalie Surgeon, Smokey, Brick Yardley, Buck Barringley, Red Meeker, and Cal Weathers. Now that um you know our singles I will review in the future. Also says Cars 3 right here. You know, and uh, other little information on the bottom. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this review as I lowered the camera. I got me a new camera holder for my iPhone or iPod. And I must say, it is way better than my old one. I just made it with a few little Lego bricks. Um, but yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review. And I will see you guys next time.